Hey everybody, it's Mark here at Gary's Guitars in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and it's time we have the pot talk. Uh, pot as in potentiometer. This is what it looks like on the inside of your guitar or your amplifier. You have a bunch of these. Um, and so they're prone to malfunctioning, and I'll tell you why, and I'll tell you what you can do. And so let's get into it with this, which is I actually disassembled one, so you can see what's inside of one. It's This is the back cover. This is the sweeper, and this is the surface on which it sweeps. And so just this little spot here, there's a couple of little raised spots on this that, you know, as you, as you adjust this, as you move this around, it moves on this other surface and creates a variable resistance kind of thing. Um, so that's why uh, they all kind of have a resistance to them, a resistance rating. Um, it's, uh, um, it's a pr remarkably primitive, but, uh, remarkable thing that, you know, still in modern high-tech gear, you still have these kind of like just primitive hand adjustment pots. Uh, they're crucial in guitars and vintage amps, especially. So what happens when they malfunction? Uh, one thing I will say is the similar metals. This is one of the few things I remember from science classes I've taken over the years in high school and college. The similar metals corrode and I remember it because it's it's good information important the similar metals corrode where they touch so just like on your car battery you have two different kind you have a lead and a and probably nickel or steel thing uh, attaching to it that's why all that corrosion likes to bubble up around here and these are likely to corrode where they touch now often they get moved enough that they kind of they're kind of what people used to call self-cleaning which is when you move the pot you can break that corrosion and, and turn it into dust or you know whatever you can kind of get it out of there and then sometimes you can't but let's talk about what to do you're on a gig or you're working and you need to you're getting some crackling that's that's the symptom we talk about dirty pots it isn't actual dirt it's usually corrosion physical dirt in pots i've heard that and it doesn't make the same exact sound it's corrosion so the first thing to do especially if you're on the gig or you're you're inspired and you got to keep moving Exercise the pot back and forth rapidly, 10 times, maybe 20. And hopefully that will make it go away, at least temporarily. Um, it is, um, they do kind of, you know, as you scrape them against each other, they will clean each other. Uh, the second is a cleaner, like Deoxit is what we use here. It's kind of magical. Um, it's the most expensive, but don't use anything else. Don't use, you know, people, you know, all the folk remedies you might have heard of, oh, I sprayed WD-40 in my pots, it works great. Or anything else. Um, uh, Deoxit is the stuff that we sell here. We use it here. It's it's the stuff that works. And uh, just spraying a tiny bit in and exercising that. That will eat away at the corrosion and then kind of evaporate into the air magically. And that's why it's uh, it's like you can't sell it in California or something. It's you know it's a little bit nasty, but in sometimes needed. Um, also, what we end up having to do sometimes is disassemble them, like I showed you that disassemble pot, and burnish the, the thing or clean them on the inside and put them back together. Uh, this happens when we have to save a pot that's on a particularly valuable instrument, or if you're talking about the Dunlop wah or volume pot that's like a $30 part, sometimes they can be they saved in a fix. Um, so we've had them. So what, what happens when they fail is you, you might get like dead spots. Um, you might get, uh, we, I was just looking over here, an amp that we just fixed. Uh, just had a pot that, you know, all the signal passes through it. It's the volume pot on this, in this case. And so channel two sounds bad. Well, you just have a bad pot. It wasn't making good connection and falling apart a little, you know, and there was no fixing it. It just had to be changed. And, um, always use high quality pots and always, if you're ever replacing something, um, <coughs> pardon me, uh, because the difference between a high quality and a low quality part is a couple. Um, so, uh, replacing, cleaning, uh, in a pinch, like I said, you can just kind of exercise it. Uh, same thing with switches, same thing with, um, switching jacks that you might not use. Uh, so the thing to do for, for regular preventive maintenance, make sure you, you use all your pots, turn them up and down 10 times, each one on your amp, even especially the ones you don't use. Uh, if you have some around the back, like on a Mesa Boogie or something, or an FX Loop Sand or something. Exercise the heck out of them. You'll see they're actually like as you move them. You're like, oh, this is moving a little easier because you're just kind of clearing the path 
a little better. And some of them have a lubricant in them, and you're helping spread that lubricant, re-spread that lubricant around. Um, so it's kind of like a... Uh, so there's some are sealed, in which case you can't get a cleaner into them, but they do have a lubricant in them. Um, sometimes they can be disassembled and cleaned, and sometimes they just have to be replaced. So... That's my pot talk. Um, thanks for watching. Check out all the other videos here. And um, check out YouTube, Instagram, uh, all that kind of stuff. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.